Hi everybody, Luke Film Boss here, and today I'm going to be reacting to a whole bunch of Comic Con trailers. And the first one is going to be Black Adam, the Comic Con sneak peek. I'm really excited for this movie, and I hope this sneak peek gives us a lot of new footage, even though there's only a minute or so here. I hope it gives us a few new shots and like locations so we can get a better idea of what this movie is kind of going to look like because I think it looks pretty good so far but I'm going to get that on right now my powers are not a gift but a curse born out of rage Black Adam Good. You believe you are not worthy. Okay, that's some you good footage there. Nice. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. The world needed a hero. Instead, it got me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is how you do a good comic book slash superhero movie. For Pete's sake, like, you think Marvel would up their game when DC is bringing out things like the Batman and... Like, the Suicide Squad, and, like, all sorts of things. Zack Snyder's Justice League, although it might not be top tier in most people's eyes, it's still got a pretty decent RT score. Um, it was almost as good as the new Doctor Strange, and it was better than the new Thor film. And, I mean, like, Birds of Prey, um, what's another recent? Shazam? Like, these movies are all getting pretty positive reviews and they're all unique and they just I just love DC films I thought that DC always had that but I'm just speaking about what the general consensus is because I know my preference on Batman vs Superman and Man of Steel aren't very popular but DC has so many good films and Marvel's been bringing out this lackluster stuff and yet people still see Marvel as the definitive comic book movie studio and they rush to see these movies and I mean, DC did well with the Batman and had Wonder Woman 1984 not been stuck literally in the worst season of movie going for the pandemic um, alongside of its HBO Max, re Max release. I think that movie could have done really well had that movie's like been weighted or pushed back to 2022 or like just gone straight theatrically late in 2021. I think that movie could have done well. And so I, I feel like Black Adam could surprise people at the box office. I think critically, I have to see. We have to wait and see because DC has a pretty good track record so far. But they did have 1984, which just missed that fresh um, Rotten Tomatoes score. It was like 58 when all was said and done. Although its top critic score was at a 71%. But... Overall, I think that Black Adam will be a win for DC, both at the box office and critically. Uh, it might not be anywhere near as big as the Batman or any of Marvel's films this year, but I think it will do a lot better than most people think it will. So those are my thoughts on Black Adam. I think it looks great still. I like seeing some of that new footage, but we'll just have to wait and see for the next trailer or sneak peek or just wait to see when this movie comes out because i feel like this is going to be a big event and i'm definitely going to be there opening night so thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from luke film boss